That is demolished. How's it going guys? We're back. Uh, today we're gonna be making a YouTube video. If you couldn't tell, I'm extremely tired. Anyway, we're gonna be playing with kids clubs. We're gonna be going to a store called what is it called? We don't know, but it's a store that sells hand-me-down clubs. And essentially we're gonna go buy kids clubs for as cheap as possible, go out and see if we can play golf. The clubs are ideally gonna be as short as possible. And then I'm gonna give Steven a stroke pour hole like we did in a past video. What do you think about the challenge? Do you oh, think it's gonna it, be good. Before we get into the challenge, rating it on a personal scale, what I think it's gonna be as far as difficulty, one through 10, I'm actually gonna go ahead and say this one's gonna be like an eight. All right, so we are currently going. We are headed to get the junior clubs. 12 seconds later. 30 minute drive. Yeah, down. Check that off the list. We're here. Yeah, we are. It's right behind us. Anyway, we have made it to the store that we, 25 miles, 30 minutes. So it'll be 30 minute drive here and back. Then we're gonna go get some lunch and actually go play after that. Anyway, we do not have the vlog camera, so we will not be vlogging in the store. We're gonna run in, get the clubs, and be right back. Many months later. Um, so, we just got out of the store. Okay, we just got out of the store. And we bought kids clubs for $65. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with my thrift store golf challenge, we bought a full set of irons and a golf bag and some balls for under five bucks. Let me show you. Those clubs that we bought for under five bucks for that thrift store challenge were 10 times nicer than what we just got. We got a putter, two irons, and two woods. It's not a big deal. $65 to get these clubs. This also gives you some perspective on what it costs to actually get your first set of clubs when you're a kid. But yeah, it, it golf is truly an expensive sport. There are cheaper ways to do it, but this is kind of the only place we could find the kids' clubs. I mean, for me, getting a soccer, I had to buy a $5 soccer ball, and that was it. And I was playing soccer, I had cleats, but they are like 20. That's the beginning, but the golf, that is insane. Yeah, then you gotta pay to actually play. All right, we have made it to the course. We're not at the normal big course at Sunflower. We're actually at the par three course, but instead of playing the standardized six hole par three course, today we're gonna be playing two par fours. Obviously they're gonna be made up. We're gonna make it our own course kind of today. We're playing two par fours, two par threes, and a par five, five holes. That's the course vlog for today. Here are the clubs. We got a driver, a four wood, we got a putter, we got a, it says a mid wedge or like a mid, no, it says a wedge there or something. Then it says like your mid range club. It doesn't even have a number on it, so we don't know what club it actually is. Really, I really don't know what's gonna happen today. We have made it to the first hole. The first hole is literally gonna be 165 yards, give or take. All right, well, Steven can't get the bag off because it's that small. All right, we're ready. So essentially we are starting with a par three. We're gonna move to a par four. Then we're gonna have another par three. Then we're gonna have another par four and then a par five to finish it up. That's what's so crazy about these holes of golf out here. We can actually create our own course. The only thing that we're really gonna have to worry about today is how far we're gonna hit each club. I have no clue. Like this hybrid could go 230 or 170, but we have the hybrid in hand. It's, it's like a pitch, it's the size of a pitch wedge, like smaller than me. As you can tell, here's hole one. That's the green we're going to. Uh, we're going from hole five tee box here at Sunflower, the par three course, over to hole six. I don't. I think you just hit it and hope for the best. Oh shoot! I did that with a bunker. All right, there you go. Okay, that actually I, went kind of far. Kind of topped it though. Yeah, no fedora. That thing went flying. No baseball cap. Literally, guys. I could snap one in two seconds. All right, so I guess we're going with the seven iron, the mid iron, whatever that is. That almost came out of my hand. A little short right. So after the first tee shot, Steven is a little long, I'm a little short right. Honestly, the clubs didn't feel bad. I just kind of, kind of small, which is what the whole point of this video is. All right, so we made it to my ball. Looks like I am a little short. I'm gonna have to get up and down. Obviously, you're gonna hit pitching wedge here. You're gonna hit the short club. It's a power thing. All right, so first review of the pitching wedge, the short club. Honestly, it wasn't that bad around the greens. I mean, 
Feel like I had a decent feel. Probably better than my Wilson staff wedges that don't spin at all. Anyway, it looks like I do have a 20 footer for par. I have a weird feeling that we'll actually be able to hit some pretty good shots today though. <laughs> All right, so Steve is about to go on the knees, but nonetheless, he is obviously long in the green. He doesn't have much green to work with. What do you, you have the short club? Flop shot, yeah, with the short club. Really good. Go. Go. That was literally so money, though. Got the short club, about to hit this little short. I'm trying to aim right at there's a piece of hay on the ground. I'm just warming it, so I'm aim. This is obviously for three. It's gonna go in. Be good. Good shot. I'm going with the putter here, folks. Oh! First review of the putter, actually pretty solid. That rolled well, but it hit. Look at what well, look what it hit. It hit this right here. It bumped it. Anyway, this is bogey. I'll take bogey on hole one. I ended up making bogey, which honestly I'm not too mad about. First impressions of the club. Steven here for bogey. To stay all square. Okay, it's so fast. It is fast. I'm giving him a shot per hole, so if he does make this, he'll actually stay. It's the fastest putter I've ever hit. I think it's because it's so bendy. For double bogey, which would put him at all square since I made bogey in the first hole. Man, it's not a bad start. This is a rusty start for me. I should be five under already. All right, guys, so after hole one, one over par, Steven is two over par, but we're all square. Steven and I will be playing match play today. What's the prize gonna be? Uh, a million dollars? Nah, that's cheap. How about two? All right, we're playing for two cents today. Actually, we'll play for a quick trip drink. How's that and sound? two cents. On the hole two, which is a par four, we've created this in the past. We actually did a hole. This is the same exact hole we played for the Wheel of Not Ideal. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is starting here at the range here at the little course. As you can tell, that is the green right behind all those trees. Here's the deal, we got a driver, the junior set driver. We don't know how it's going to react. We're going to hit it as hard as physically possible and we can't get it there, so it's definitely a par four. This thing looks like a three wood. Hey. All right, first shot for Steven Castaneda. He's probably aiming a little left of those big trees and just gonna swing away with the driver. Literally pounded, get over, no way. Literally got over the brush. I'm in the fairway on, on the first hole. That was crazy. That thing went. He's literally gonna have a chip. That probably went like 280. No golf club. That was crazy. Where'd he go? That literally went as far as my driver. All right then. Like right here. Look at that. It's the flex in the club, I think. Not the flex in the club, because that would make you go shorter. I have no clue, I'm not a club fitter, but nonetheless, mine probably went 285. I kind of wish we were able to play the 18 hole course. Today we're just making our altered course because the 18 hole course is kind of busy. But if you guys do want to see a part two at the actual course, like the 18 hole course, let us know in the comments down below and we'll make sure that we do that. I don't know how far this hole was like to the green, but we're guessing like 180, or 285 to 300. No clue if that's correct. This is where mine ended up. It's crazy, that thing went flying. Right here, literally just left of the green. Steven, Steven almost hit the green too, all the way over there. I might just start playing with the kids. That's what clubs. I'm saying, these are my new clubs. So if you guys don't know, Steven's ball came in from that line, curved right over to here. Literally perfect shot. Sitting on a turf of perfectly maintained grass. I'm gonna hit this right into the hole. Simmer. A little downhill putt, easy money. I know, we're doing all right, this is pretty good. So hole two is obviously a drivable par four, which we did not think it was, but it is. And then our next par four, we're gonna be sure to make it more of a legit par four. We're gonna start at Garrett's house. That was so bad. All right guys, so here's where my ball ended up. That's for birdie, Steven's ball all the way down there. That is for birdie, here's the pin. Par on hole two. No way. It's frustrating. I know I gotta finish it off like this. That was pretty good. All right, so Steven, hole two, made par. Steven is currently one up on me. I made par. 
which means he won that hole, obviously giving him a shot every single hole. So heading into hole two, which is gonna be another par three. We're gonna make it a simple par three. Hole three here. Mid iron. Steven's going mid iron. I'm gonna go short. Uh, it is a par three, kind of straight away, a little downwind here. The odds of making par birdie are actually looking pretty good. This seems to be kind of an easy hole. Yeah. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make a hole in one. First try. <laughs> well, you guys didn't see, you guys didn't see that, but he literally just practice swing on Garrett's knee. He literally just whacked my knee on his back ow, on his backswing with the club face. Uh, uh, oh, that was my bad. Definitely his bad. Holy cow, that hurts so bad. Right in the kneecap, right below the kneecap, actually. Currently editing uh, tonight's video, the video you are currently watching, and uh, my knee is really sore. Thanks, Steven. No problem, Bob. Anyway, let's get right into the action. Currently broke my left kneecap, straight away, par three, about 125 yards. He's got the mid iron. I'm gonna go long, or short iron. I'm going short iron. I think a short iron would get there. A little stinger. Literally, what a shot. This guy's on fire. It's crazy, yeah. And he broke my knee. And I'm, and I'm aiming for Garrett's knees. Yeah, it almost got there. That was one of those that was wrong club choice because I peered that. There's actually a mark there. I think I tore every muscle in his body. All right, so I actually hit that one really pure. Unfortunately, it was not the right club. Steven was correct. I'm not really sure what kind of wedge it is. I was assuming it was a pitching wedge, but I think it might be more like a gap wedge or sand wedge. But yeah, it just didn't go that far. We're a little short, trying to get up and down for par. Steven's putting for birdie, not looking good for me. I can't believe I hit the green. I didn't, how far does it go? Like, if I would have full swung, that thing would have been back to your house again. All right, chip to get up and down for par. It'll be par. All right, so Steven here. Steven is putting for birdie. I really need him to three putt as much as he wants to two putt. No way. No way. I don't think I have any chance anymore. So I guess giving Steven one shot at the little course was not the play. I'm two down going into the last two holes. We're gonna be playing a par five and a par four. Looks like I'm gonna be buying Quick Trip unless I somehow make a comeback because I'm dormy. Okay guys, since the clubs ended up going a lot farther than we expected, we are going from hole three's tee box, right here, all the way over to hole five's green. So essentially what we're gonna be doing is hitting our shots over there, then over the trees right there with a driver. Then we'll probably have like a pitching wedge into the green Fortunately, there is nobody out here at the course today, so we have no chance of actually hitting somebody. That's why we're doing this. I do not advise anybody to play altered course going across different holes. I'm going just straight over both these trees. Yeah, okay. All right, see what you did there. Oh my, literally so good. You literally probably hit that 285. This, this thing, you know what? This is going in the bag that I don't have. So it's going into your bag. If you win, you keep the clubs. So when you win, you get to keep these. Oh dang, this could be very beneficial. Game changing. This is like the best feeling miniature club I've ever had. No lie. It just feels so pure. Like when you hit this good, that went so far. Might actually put this in the bag, just show up to a random tournament, be like, hey guys, this is my, this is my driver. Steven crushed his and he has about 140. I'm roughly 20 yards ahead of where Steven's ball ended up. What club do you have in your hand? Mid iron. Hey, yep. And we came from like directly over there, over these trees. All right, so Steven obviously with the 140 yard shot, all the way up to there, he's got the mid iron. Second shot, par four. Pretty good. Right side, just right of the green. All right, so here's where my ball ended up. We are probably 135. I'm gonna try and hit the wedge again and just smash it super hard as far as I can hit it. I don't wanna do the like the in-betweener shot with the mid iron. I wanna go with the wedge. All right, so here's where my ball ended up. Looks like it did spin a little, as you can tell. I actually did hit the green, so I'm roughly 35 feet from the pin. Steven is just over here, just short right of the green. I think he's gonna putt. 
Kind of like the strategy. Putt up there to get up and down for par. Solid though. All right guys, obviously Steven is up two. Steven is two over, I'm one over, Steven's up two. I really have to hit a good one here. All right, that was par on the fourth hole of the day. One over, honestly not that bad for me. All right, so Steven after hole four, which is our second to last hole. Wait, no, you won. Steven actually just won just now. I forgot, I'm giving him a stroke on every hole. We just tied that hole. He made bogey, I made par, which means he's two up, which also means he wins the match. We're still gonna play the last hole just to show you guys what it looks like, but Steven did take the dub. That was pretty quick, that was crazy. Um, yeah, I just wanna thank my dogs, my alpaca, my donkey, rest in peace. Yeah, I got another victory. Another QT, a couple cents. I was supposed to walk off and you're supposed to just pan that way, but you know, whatever. All right, so I know we said we were playing the last hole as a par five, but there is literally no holes that we can make. This is gonna be par four, but play all the way to hole three. That's what we're gonna do. Can you read my mind or what? So we're gonna play to hole three, which if you guys didn't know, hole three is directly past all of those trees and it's like all the way in the upper corner of all this territory uh so we're gonna try and smash driver over there last hole of the day i'm one over if i can shoot even par on this challenge with these clubs i'll be extremely happy yeah steven is three over i'm one over on the last hole steven is up first on the last hole what are your thoughts i'm thinking i'm gonna crush it to the hole I was smart enough to go back and get a glove for me, but he doesn't have a glove. That's how sweaty and hot it is out here today, and these grips are not the best, but okay, Steven's shot is, <laughs> yeah. Go, get through. I followed that so good. Didn't hit it high enough. Um, mine went right into the tree. I'm not sure if it got out, like through or not. Hopefully it did. This is Matt's ball, so if I lose it, it's on you, Matt. Oh. That is demolished on the tee box on hole two. It's kind of fun now. I, I suggest anybody going playing for overpriced golf clubs and go have some fun. Steven is literally striping it today. Like pro ball flight straight out of the, I don't know, but he's literally destroying it because that was pounded exactly where you want to be or long and on the tee box on hole two. So he's going to have a perfect shot into the green. Random tree down and my ball is just up there. Looks like mine hit the trees and came directly down, but I actually have a pretty decent look at the pin. All right, so right in the middle of the trees, it looks like it did get knocked down. Unfortunately, it did not get through. I thought it was gonna get through. It didn't look like it hit anything hard, but we ended up right in here, Steven with the clubs, caddy, AKA player and caddy. Not the close pin, but the far pin. That's the one we're going to. I'm gonna hit the mid iron here. Mid iron. Sit. Right side of the green. She hit the one pretty solid. Seems like these clubs do not go as straight simply for the fact that the shafts are so flimsy. If you get just the slightest bit quick, you will miss your target line. Um, it's quite easy to hit them very solid. So if you are a beginner, I, I mean, these clubs are not bad. I ended up on the right side of the green, put up the hill. We have walked 75 yards ahead of where mine is and we are finally coming upon Steven's ball. Literally smashed his tee shot. Here's where he ended up just short. Oh. Just short of the tee box on hole two, which you guys already saw us play. That's the green all the way up there. Steven, what club you got? Uh, short. Okay. Go. Here's where Steven's balling it up. He's got the short club in his hand again. By the way, when we're saying the short club, that is the wedge. I would assume it's like a 56 degree. What a shot, like four feet. A little flop shot action. That's like talented right there. All right, so my ball ended up right there, front edge of the green, up the hill putt, maybe breaking right to left. I'm gonna use putter on this one. Oh, really? Yeah.
What a par. This is fine. So for the round, I finished at one over par. Steven finished at three over par. Honestly, not that bad. Using kids clubs, these are the clubs that we used to use back in the day. Honestly, not that disappointed with no, how we played. it was really good. It was really fun too. Yeah. All right, guys, we're back. Steven got his QT drink. Obviously, he was the winner of the challenge. Wait, I forgot the two cents. Part two. There's my two cents. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. That driver was perfect. Here. Literally perfect. So $60 for the set of clubs. That driver being so well, like... It was worth it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy, let us know in the comments down below. If you want to see maybe like a part two, us going to the regular course doing the same thing, mm -hmm. that'd be a lot of fun. Like that'd maybe playing 18 holes. That'd be really fun. And happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. Actually true, this is going up on Father's Day. Today's Father's Day? No, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's going up tomorrow. Happy Father's Day to every father out there. And if you're a son, tell your father, or daughter, tell your father, Happy Father's Day. All right, peace. You ready to go film some more? Yeah.